Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieder here with On-Call Compliance Solutions and I'm back with another Compliance Tip of the Week. Today we are talking about NIST SP800-171 DIBCAC audits. Oh my gosh, the boogeyman returns. How to make getting through an audit easier. That's our job, right? We want to make the scary prospect of getting a real audit on all this information security stuff, DFARS, NIST SP800-171 and CMMC. Uh, look, at some point in time, the theory is everybody's going to get audited or at least have a third party assessor come through. How do you make it easy? How do you make this not a productivity killing machine for any organization? So look, nobody likes an audit, okay? Let's get that out of the way right now. Even worse, just knowing that the audit is being conducted from someone from the United States Department of Defense, I mean, for anyone, that would be pretty scary stuff, right? Uh, I know it would be for me, or at least it was. So let me tell you, as someone who's been through audits before, walked clients through them before, and experienced it firsthand, I think I'd rather just go to the dentist and have a root canal. I mean, <laughs> honestly, that's probably more pleasant. So there you have it. It sucks. It's not fun, and it consumed weeks of our life. And for others, we've heard stories of audits going on up to nine months before. Um, not going to sugarcoat it. It just is what it is. So having the experiences we have had and also recognizing that there must be an easier way to get through all of this, we have a few small suggestions and some helpful stuff for you today. So uh, again, super unique content we're going to bring to you. Look, first bit of advice is that on every system security plan, I will tell you, we do put in an extra section called the definition section. Okay. You're not going to find it in the government form. We manually add it in, and it's where we explain all of the major system elements and acronyms that we're going to use throughout our system security plan control answers. Uh, so again, it makes it much easier for anyone looking at our plan to understand it. In other words, take the guesswork out about what you've done and what your system looks like and make it easier for an outsider using an extra section in your SSP called definitions is something unique that we will like to, that we like to do and we've gotten very positive feedback on it from auditors who said hey listen by the way thanks for that first section really really appreciate that it made figuring out how big you were and all this other stuff and you know what solutions you had in place a lot easier so again recommend that highly and it's it's you know we've gotten great feedback on that now second major piece of advice is keep your plan in an online compliance management system with view only auditor access. Okay, a little bit to unpack there, right? So at On Call, we utilize our On Call Compliance Manager, and you can learn more at compliancemanagerpro.com. Okay, that's compliancemanagerpro.com. Check out the link in the bio. You can learn a little bit more about this tool. Okay, we've literally built it from the ground up for defense contractors and manufacturers. It's amazing. So look, with a tool like this, it allows for collaboration of multiple parties online to create your system security plan. Keep track of your plan of actual milestones, store your policies, training, and evidence all in one place under one pane of glass. Most importantly, when it comes time for an audit, you can simply send your auditor a view only auditor account and keep them out of your hair. So important. If they've got all the answers they're looking for in one place, including evidence uploads, they'll have everything they are looking for without having to bother you or spend hours on the phone with you. And you already know what they're looking for because our system is already set up to basically get the information out of you up front on your own time. So I highly recommend some kind of system like that. Again, you can visit compliancemanagerpro.com to learn more. Uh, there's other solutions out there. I don't think they're as good as ours, but that's because I'm totally biased and I have no problem telling you that. Uh, but hey, look, just having the files is really not good enough. You need something to guide you through evidence gathering and everything else that an assessor is going to want to see. Even audit logs and timestamps of when you have been looking at these things can be crucial to proving that you have an active and ongoing compliance effort in your company. So again, beyond just getting compliant, when it comes time to have, uh, you know, when it comes time, you will have to manage this on an ongoing basis more and more. And we recommend tools like our on-call compliance manager, uh, and of course, things like the definition section on the system security plan. It's those common sense things that would explain to an outsider what you've got going on that will make the whole audit process less painful for them and thus less painful for you. 
So again, check out the link in the bio for more information. And of course, if you're trying to get compliant with DFARS, NIST SB 8171 or CMMC on your own, and you're looking for someone who's already got this stuff figured out, built the systems in the vehicle to get you down the road, we're it. So our compliance experts are always on call for you. Visit NIST800171compliance.com or check out the bio below for links that'll make your life easy. There you can find more information about how we can help self-schedule time of your convenience with one of our compliance experts through any form on the website or learn more about our completely done for you services that can have you on your way to being compliant in just two to three days. Love the content we're putting out here for you or the tools we're building for you. Let us know about it in the comments below. Help us out with a big thumbs up on that like button and even better, smash that subscribe button like you're gonna kill it on those compliance audits. It's nothing to be afraid of if you're well prepared and have the right tools. So. Until the next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure out there. Let's get a little bit less afraid of those audits and a little bit more prepared. Hit us in the comments below for what you'd like to learn more about when it comes to information security and compliance. And I'll see you on the next one with more cool tools and tips to help you get along. Thanks, everybody.